I've done some videos on skip catch and skipjack before, but uh, I've never actually explained how I do it or where I do it. Uh, most of skipjack in the Ohio River at this point in time uh, is heading towards the dams. Oh, there's one right there. But you'll find them at most any of these dams on the Ohio River. Uh, around the well oxidated water. They like moving water. And what I use, I don't know if you can see this or not, but little white crappie jigs is, is probably the best thing to, to use. Uh, some guys use Sabinki rigs, but the little, little crappie jigs is what you need. But what you do is tie two or three on right in a row. And then uh, as far as catching them, they're kind of moody. Sometimes they'll want it just you burn it across the water, which is reeling real fast. Or sometimes they want to pop and drop. Just depends on their mood. But they run in schools and, and when they when they're in here, they're in here. And when they're not, you can't get them to bite. Today they seem to be in here pretty good, so I'm gonna catch what I can and take home and freeze a bunch of them. They're not in here real well just yet. Another two or three weeks, there's, some, there's two of them right there. Up two or three weeks. Oh, here they come. Oh, look at them. Woo! Yeah, that's the way we like to catch them here. Two and three at a time. But as I was saying, you need to uh, find out what they want, how they like it, whether it's a slow retrieve, a pop and drop where you jerk it and let it settle, and then reel again, pop it, drop it, let it settle, or just burn it. Most of the time when you burn it, they're gonna hit it. And you'll, like I say, you'll catch two or three at a time when they're in here. But that's where you catch the skipjack at. Now you can catch them on the tributaries off the Ohio, say up in the Green River, uh, Little Miami River, I think, up around Cincinnati. Uh, you can catch them occasionally. Kentucky River, anywhere where there's a, a dam where there's plenty of uh, oxygenated water is where you'll find them. Now in August, they're hard to find, but once they're in here in the springtime, it's best to catch you two or three hundred, freeze them up, and that way you have them for the rest of the summer. And I just broke my rod, so I guess I'm done skipjack fishing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go out here and do some catfishing. I'm gonna do a couple different techniques. I'm gonna do some drifting today. I'm gonna do some dragging today. And I'm gonna do some bumping today. And I'm gonna hopefully get some fish on tape for you.